Da, 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 da. Hello everyone, hello, hello, and welcome to Yo! You like that? The VTuber Talk Show where I have a streaming guest here, and we talk about one of the games that they super duper love, and they like that, and then I like that, and we all like that. And it's all about just spreading positivity and good stuff all around. Today, my guests will be uh, 8-Bit Nuggets and Fab Valen, so make sure to give them a thanks and a follow. Once you get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Without further ado, how about we go ahead and we get our first guest on today. Introducing the one and the only. ba 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 Nuggets. Hi. Hello, hello. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Extra preservatives. Hello, welcome. Hi, 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 hi. How's it going? It is going good. Thank you for coming to the show today. How are you? I'm good. I got peanut butter on my chin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're you're about. To That's have, a good day. Yeah, you're about to have a very <laughs> peanut buttery filled stream because I just chowed out on a sandwich. Mm, that sounds like a good day. And nothing says chowing down like a sandwich like a good game. And how about we go ahead and show which game you picked that you like and that you would like to share with everyone yeah 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 all right well today oh i'll let you you see your show i won't take over oh uh, I, was, I was gonna say drum roll please okay you can go ahead <laughs> yeah today we're talking about family guide the video game let's go oh, oh yeah. no yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. wait what what whoa, oh no whoa, i grabbed whoa. i grabbed the wrong image hey, i grabbed whoa, the wrong whoa, image whoa, 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 whoa. oh no that's that Oh, no, that's a head pet. That's not... Oh, that's ketchup. God damn it. That's not Peter Griffin. <laughs> no, it's not. Not at all. Ah. <laughs> no, but... Well, I guess we're stuck with it. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. I can't speak. Peanut butter mouth. We'll roll with it. Yes, today I am on your show to talk about one of my favorite JRPGs I've ever played. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Let's go. That's right. Yo. That's right. The chicken nuggets talking about Digimon again. What a surprise! What? So you like Digimon? Uh, that is cool. Uh, what, why? Why you? Why you think that? I mean, you know, you know. I mean, what is a Digimon? In fact, like, let's go ahead and get to the questions. Nuggets, how did you discover this game? Uh, well, besides knowing Digimon already, uh, I actually first uh, discovered this game when I went to go pre-order another game at you guessed it. The stop of games. The GameStop. The treasury <gasps> of games. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody remembers it used to be called Babbage's. <laughs> Bob, what? <laughs> Babbage's. It was EB Games, Babbage's, and GameStop. They were like three companies owned by the same thing. And then and then they changed. And then EB Games became like the Canadian name. And GameStop became the like North, like North US name. Uh, I'm not crazy. It's true. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Okay. <laughs> Someone in the chat knows about Babbage's, all right? Babbage's. 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 I don't know what the name's for. <laughs> it's... I, it beats the hell out of me. I just learned it. You're, you're, you're the host. Educate me. I will educate you. Oh, Eric Jerry did. But anyway, so uh, I'm kind of curious what game were you pre ordering? Oh, fuck if I remember. Um... <laughs> you know what? That just means that you made the right choice getting this one because this one's actually yeah, stuck in your head. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I want to say this game came out around the same time Resident Evil 7 was still pre-ordered because I feel like the time frame of me pre-ordering because I got them both at the mall, so it had to be in that same time frame as RE7 was coming out. Um, But yeah. I just remember seeing that Digimon Cyber Sleuth poster. I was like, "Oh my god, this looks very Persona-y, but with Digimon, yo, they got they got good Digimon games. What was this about?" It is an amazing thing. If uh, it kind of felt like it came out after like a drought of Digimon games, like the previous one before that was the like a uh, tournament one on the DS. That was like you know the whole farm and tournament fighting, but it wasn't really like you know a good like RPG like the Digimon World series. Or anything like that. Like it, just, it had been a while. Yeah, yeah. See, my only experience with Digimon games before Cyber Sleuth wasn't any of the world games. I knew they existed, but I actually played freaking uh, Digimon like Battle Arena on the GBA, which was all the <gasps> Digimon Frontier 
characters because it was like the second one. So basically, it was all the like uh, frontier fusions just beating the shit out of each other for a bunch of co- different colored balls. It was... Yeah, Ultra Spirit Evolution. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Evolution. <laughs> Do you know uh, a fun fact about those uh, GBA games? They're actually ports of Wonderswan color games. That doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> but they were they were brought over to the GBA, and I think they were actually given like an like an extra character or two. So you so you got the supreme version of those games. Well, I only played as Kazuman because I had like the the the, the, the uh, like the biggest crush on her as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> she was like my first like proper like monster girl waifu. <laughs> I approve. I approve. <laughs> yeah. Get, get out of here, Angela Mun. No one even remembers you. <laughs> so what about this game? Like do you find like one of the like more enjoyable aspects of it? Like what kind of like makes it up there as one of your favorites? Uh well I would honestly say the story and the reason for that is because little known fact about me is I'm a big mystery, mystery nerd, mystery buff. I love all the detectives. I love the Sherlock Holmes. And it's not necessarily like a whole detective, like who done it kind of mystery, but the whole premise of Digimon Cyber Sleuth is the mystery of what's going on with um, this mysterious illness called Eden Syndrome, which is causing people to basically fall into a coma forever. SAO Syndrome, but you know, not at, well, no, no, still life-threatening. They were dying. Um... <gasps> But you basically work at a detective agency for a beautiful goddess, who I'll probably bring up later, and ah, you yes. solve a bunch of crimes on the internet. You know, basically the internet police, what Twitter users wants to be. Oh, snap. A private detective. A, uh, oh, what's a famous private detective guy? Uh, Columbo. No, wait. Not Columbo. But Columbo's a detective. <laughs> so I, Sherlock Holmes of the internet, if you would. Uh, my favorite's actually Sherlock Bones. You know, that sh- Sherlock Bones. Yeah, 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 the dog that reincarnated with Sherlock Holmes. Spirit. I, yes, you know it. got yeah, the pipe yeah, and yeah. everything. <laughs> Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, Chance is right. Detective Conan is another one of my favorite like anime series. I mean, he, he could be a second next to, you know, Sherlock Bones. but it's but <laughs> Right, right, right. I mean... If- I mean, that kid's like a plague of death with how many murders he's seen, so, you know. <laughs> I have to say, one thing I love about uh, Cyber Sleuth is, like like you said, like the art style. Like, um, it does feel very persona. The actual, like, lead artist actually did a lot of work on uh, uh, some of the Shin Megami Tensei titles, in fact. Mm-hmm. So that's why there's a little bit of, like, an overlap there. But yeah. um, I want to say, like, just, like, the characters have so much, like, interesting breadth and, like, color to them. And you don't see that as much in games. Right. Yeah. No, that's what... Basically, Cyber Sleuth is what we want the internet to actually be. You know, really colorful avatars and you know, hanging out in all sorts of places with a bunch of virtual pets. Kind of like VTubing. <gasps> what? what? Yeah, it's kind of oh. crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't abandon Cassie even in cyberspace. <laughs> cats cats should be in all forms of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. So, uh, in regards, have you uh, played the uh, the game, the, what is it called, like the partner game alongside of it, uh, Hacker's Memory? What? You're asking me if I've, if I've been doing that? What? Uh, it's not like I've had 15 streams of it in the past year. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, I am playing Hacker's Memory right now. I'm currently in the middle of it, uh, which is very interesting. Yeah. It is, um, it is, like you said, it's a companion piece. It's not necessarily a sequel. It's an alternative story that's going on at the same time of the first game, which gives a little context to stuff in Cyber Sleuth, but also is its own thing. And it also gives us more Digimon. It also proves gameplay. And uh, yeah, so truth be told, I would have actually probably talked about that one uh, in this, but I haven't finished it. So, you know, it felt only right to talk about the one that got me started on this path, which was Cyber Sleuth. Yeah. No, no, I, I agree. I mean, that's, that's why I also wanted to bring up, too, because it's also worth praising, because, like, they're both, like, in, in their own rights, like, solid video games, well, and then you, like, combine them together, you have, like, a, you have, like, a DNA fusion of DNA. Uh, a video game. <laughs> DNA full charge! <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, it's like what you said, that's what they did. They literally fused them into one cartridge on the Switch version. And because they're basically, I kind of chuck up like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I hate, I don't want to talk about Kingdom Hearts, but it's kind of like how, you know, yeah. you play Sora's story and then you unlock Riku's story. It's basically, 
the, the game should always be bundled together. You should always just get both. That, yeah. That's just my opinion on it. No, no, no. I, I think it's good, especially like you said, like how the Switch version got like both of them together. It, it's the ideal bundle, like for sure. Uh, um, so, who's your favorite human character and who's your favorite Digimon character? I'm so glad you asked that second part because I did think of that. Because earlier when I was thinking about the questions, I was like, oh my god, I'm only focusing on one beautiful goddess. Um, <laughs> the detective Mommy Kiyoko! I love her so much. She's... She, she's a very Ara Ara character while being cute and clever, and even though she has some faults, you really want to praise her and admire her for her tenacity and her ability to make the craziest goddamn coffee you'll ever drink. It it reminds me of a poison from the future, <laughs> but I won't. I'll, I can't go into that. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking <laughs> let her poison me. No, her her design is both like sexy and confident. It's very like Bayonetta vibes almost. Yeah, who wants good cop, bad cop? We want sexy cop. Sexy cop that can be bad cop. Well, it's good cop on the side, just to praise you, and then put you back out to work. <laughs> Not enough to love the true protagonist of the game, Nokia. I mean, Nokia, yeah, Nokia is really good. But uh, what I really like about her, I don't want to spoil because I want people. To hey, play this there game. you go. Yeah. All right. So, favorite Digimon. Or Digibonds. It does have to be one. Okay, so, favorite... I, I mean, okay. Mm, uh, I'm not going to go the monster fucker route here. Um, I, one of my favorite Digimon that <laughs> I used is War Growlmon because it's a big mecha kaiju radioactive lizard that fires freaking laser electronic shocks beams from his chest. What's not to love? Also, for some reason, I just really resonate every time he uses his attack. He always goes... Ugh! I'm like, I feel that in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, uh, what was it, like Metal War Greymon, right? Uh, War Growlmon. Oh, War Growlmon, yeah, it's, okay. It's in the Gilmon evolution. Uh, oh, that's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Which should be the mascot on Digimon, but, you know, I'll, I'll get in there. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, he, he he's ahead of Vmon, at least. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's fine. You know, Agamon's the Pikachu of Digimon, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so it says the pin on your head. It's like if I could get a better pin, I would. I still love Agumon. But he ain't no Gilmon. He ain't. He ain't a Gilmon. Oh, Tamers for life. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. It's and that. That's also one of my uh, favorite ones. And um, it was uh, Dawn. Yeah, Digimon DS Dawn. Like uh, getting like. Uh, the Giamon evolution. You can get oh, this, yeah. the super Gallantmon, like the the burst <laughs> mode or whatever. Right. And it was just, it just felt so cool. It's like, oh, you get the extra form on top of this, on top of the mega form, and it's like, yes, let's go. Yeah. Uh, frick. Um, I did play Digimon Dusk. I think it was on DS. That's like one of the earlier Digimon games. I actually played that before Cyber Sleuth. I think. I remember enjoying that. Um. And the only way, uh, in more recent games like Digimon Survive, the only way to get Gilmon, unfortunately, was if you had to pre-order it. Which, thankfully, I did, but I really bummed, like, because you can't get Gilmon any legitimate way in that game, which is upsetting. Oof. But I got my Gallantmon, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, he's... He, he's Ah, oh, it's so good. In fact, that's one thing that's like really like amazing about uh, Cyber Sleuth, is just like the breadth of Digimon you can acquire in that game. Like, it's got everyone. It's got all the warriors. It's like, do you like the Season 5 people? They're in there. Do you like the Season 3 people? They're in there. Do you like the Season 2 people? They're in there. Well, what's cool, especially about Hacker's Memory, is they actually added a Goonimon and Lobomon from Series 4, Frontier. And I was like, oh, that's <gasps> really cool. Yeah, cause, That is cool. Because they weren't in Cyber Sleuth originally, sadly. But, I mean, they, they fixed it. They added them. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, normally they'll have Susanumon, but they won't have, like, the other kind of, like, ones. But it's cool that they're finally starting to, like, you know, be, like, added in there regularly. Yeah, yeah. And then we can go ahead and remove all the ones from Fusion. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, actually, oh, wait, no, you're talking about Cross Wars, aren't you? Cross Wars, yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay. Shout to Mon. <laughs> Sorry, you said Fusion. I mean, I thought of Series 4, and I was like, wait, that's, that, that's Frontier. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, no, Frontier's good. I've never watched um, Fu or Cross Wars dubbed, so it's always still been Cross Wars to me. <laughs> well, actually, they did add one Digimon from there. I think that was Shoutmon. 
Like, well, yeah, he's he's the staple one. Yeah, there, like so. so that that one that's just the given. And he and his like evolution are gonna make it in, like the knight. Uh, thing, yeah. I can't wait till the Digimon Ghost main character gets added in. He's such a cute boy. I still haven't watched Ghost yet. It's good. It's it's. It's nothing you have to like marathon. It's just something you can actually like turn on and just enjoy some like good old Digimon adventures I ag- without a doubt. I agree with that, and I'm also just gonna say, I'm I'm sorry. This is a slight tangent. Um, I I marathon like the last three Digimon Try movies, and mm-hmm. well, okay, no, Digimon Try aside, I mean I enjoyed what it, for what it was. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, so, I I can agree. Something I learned is. You should not marathon movie Digimon Try movies back to back to back because you're no, you're gonna definitely should you're gonna get so sick of just just Digivolve past champion. You know this isn't gonna work. No, and then we gotta watch everyone go champion. Then we gotta watch everyone go ultimate. I love Digimon and I understand it's like a very like common writer thing, but I, for some reason it's just so painstakingly slow and frustrating watching it in those movies over and over and over. <laughs> We got to extend the runtime, champ. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, it, it just made me mad. Uh, I mean, Have you watched uh, Kizuna? Oh, uh, is that the final one? No. Yeah. I got it on Blu-ray when I ordered the original Digimon movie on DVD. Just like, fuck it. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, okay. I don't know why. Uh, I'll probably save it. I'm still uh, saving it for a rainy day, I guess. Yeah, no, it's good. I I, I definitely think and, you'll like and it. Then they're... I, I I definitely want to say you should watch it before. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, one second. Um, before the uh, the new movie comes out with the uh, Adventure Two Kids. Yeah, yeah, I know. I planned on that. I planned on that. Uh, you want to know what Digimon movie I really kind of want to rewatch the other day? Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I want to watch a Runaway Locomon from Tamers. Yeah. Because that's one I never really realized it as a kid, but I guess that one takes place after the ending of Tamers. So yes. we do, they do get their Digimon back, and I think that's really neat. <laughs> yeah, they just find a way. It just works out. That's the good I'm ending. Cool with that. That's the good ending. <laughs> My favorite thing about that movie is that it's like everyone's just trying to make it to a picnic, and everything is going wrong. Like the whole movie takes place in like two hours. It's like <laughs> this is just a regular day for us where everything's going wrong. Oh well, yeah, because that fucking brain's like. <laughs> Keep chugging, gotta keep chugging. Like, oh, we gotta. Ooh, I'm loving it. We, we, I'm, I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna digivolve. <laughs> no, don't do it. We, we, we probably gotta take care of that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's just like, oh, there's a Digimon train. Yeah. Oh, there's the main character just riding on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's such a fun movie. Oh yeah, no, Digimon's very fun, which is, which is why I'm gonna do Discord nights. Sorry, not not trying to plug. <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, I think there'll be time to plug either. But yeah, so, so you, you'll be doing like viewer like movie nights too coming forward. That's you know. Well, yeah, actually, like my first movie night I plan on this Saturday will be like the U.S. dub of the Digimon movie, which is yeah. three Digimon movies combined in one beautiful hour and a half package. <laughs> I mean, at least War Games gets the majority of airtime. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really the the later movie with the O2 kids that really gets gutted, but. I never noticed it being wrong as a kid, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as far as uh, in regards to Cyber Sleuth, like, would you recommend it to like pretty much anyone to like give a shot, even if they're not really that into Digimon? Yes, in the sense of if you like JRPGs, I feel like this is a good game for you because. The turn-based combat is fun. You always get to have more than one party member out at a time. And there are different, like, status abilities and effects. You know, typical JRPG shenanigans that goes into it. It's honestly more of a, I would argue, Shimagami Tensei kind of like game, just with more Digimon elements included into it. Also, if you like Pokemon, what if you could always... You know, like, oh man, I really love Charizard, but I kind of miss my Charmander. Well, good luck, or well, good news, Billy. You can do whatever the hell you want with your creatures in this game. <laughs> you can make them big, you can make them small, you can make them hot, you can make them th- scary looking. <laughs> whatever you want, <laughs> Billy, this game's got it for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I like that. It's definitely like a good, just like, intro game to. 
like you said, like Pokemon style JRPGs, Shin Megami Tensei. Ooh. Like ah. Ooh. I'll, all, all, all the fun stuff. Ooh, I'll, I'll say something even more controversial. If you want a better Pokemon, play Tenjuan Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Look, once Digimon starts giving me some like gym leaders I can cheer on, then you know, then I'll agree with you. But yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I also make the argument though there is a downside with Cyber Sleuth. You have to be okay with the fact that it's all in Japanese with just translated subtitles and stuff. There is no English dialogue option, unfortunately. Um, God, same with Digimon Survive. Bondi just does not want to give English voice acting to Digimon games. Yeah, no, you think about it, no, I haven't really done that. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not a deal-breaker. I mean, the game is translated well enough. I think there is some, like, uh, grammar foibles, like, in the later half. But, <laughs> but I mean, you know, the, the story is still grand. Yes. If you want waifu characters and creatures that basically evolve further into mechs, then Digimon Cyber Sleuth is for you. Yeah. All right, now let's take a question or two from the audience. Everyone, we have a nugget here. Ask him a question about Digimon. Or just a question in general, I don't mind. <laughs> well, don't make it too personal now. I just I, I'm just met you guys. All of all of his measurements. Ask for all of his measurements. Well, actually, actually I mean, uh, I, do, I do have the thickest ass of any VTuber out there. <laughs> I just can't show it. I believe it. <laughs> Got to keep that breading on. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is this is this is a popular Christian talk cast. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> I called myself a monster fucker earlier, and this is a Christian <laughs> podcast. Yeah, no, that's all about that's all about in the big old Bible. Don't sorry. you know? I'm sorry. Seeing the wife who's on screen right now, this is a Christian podcast. I don't know why my <laughs> voice changed. <there. laughs> um. Oh, Dan has games. Wants to know. So, what was the? Uh... The MF Digimon answer you were going to say earlier. Oh, Rosemon. Oh, oh, to be whipped by a rose, mommy. <laughs> Every rose has its thorns, and Nuggets is all about that. Ooh, I like Chance's question. Ooh, yeah. What would you... If you were a partner Digimon... Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, what would your partner Digimon and my partner be if we were... Oh, if you assigned me one. Oh, you get to assign me one. Uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, do I want go with what I would want or what I would probably be destined with? Uh, because what I would want would probably be Gilmon because Gilmon is the cutest fucking lizard. But in all honesty, I'd probably get Wormmon because he is the perfect representation of me. Cute and adorable, but easily bullied around. Uh, <laughs> but can digivolve into a badass whenever. Also, Wormmon is like my like second favorite. Um if I had to give Ham Ham uh, a Digimon, the heaviest questions. Well, the thing is, the first thing that came to mind was Piedmon for some reason, and I don't know why. <laughs> the clown? <laughs> 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 the clown boss? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like you'd sell me for a penny to that clown. <laughs> what? No. What is what is Piedmon's like a uh, rookie form? Is it Wizardmon? Let me take a look. <laughs> uh, well, that that, that's the beauty. That's another benefit of Digimon. Basically, one Digimon can become them all. Most of them, anyway. I want to take a look at this Piedmon Digivolution line. Okay, all right, I've got it pulled up here. Let's see. Uh, okay, so it's a Trickmon, which is like a hat, turns into a Jokermon. Oh, Joker looks cool. Looks like a Bound Wonderland. You know what? Yeah, no, I'm fine with this answer. That's cool. You know what, what it is? I think it's your hair. I think it's your hair. It's <laughs> my hair. <laughs> your hair. Your hair screams you're going to evolve into an evil Joker-like villain. Ah, <laughs> uh, you want to see me do a magic trick nuggets? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're back. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm not there. There's the delayedness because <laughs> I didn't see that on the stream until now. Um, yes. um, All right. Well, Nuggets, I want to thank you for coming on to the show. It was a lot of fun. Go ahead and plug yourself. Oh, wow. I, I, 
can really do that on stream. Well, well if, you, if you insist. Um, hi, I am 8-Bit Nuggets. That's Nuggets with a Z. I am a Chicken Nuggy VTuber, if you do not know. I constantly stream uh, about three days a week. Yeah, that's totally constant. Um, I stream anything from random GRPGs to random games I never played before, and I sometimes make an ass of myself and you and me. Uh, I'm a cringe VTuber, and uh, <laughs> I, as you can see, I'm a big fan of Digimon, and I have a cute cat in my hand. You can dip me in sauce, and that's all about me, basically. Yeah! So everyone, make sure to go give 8-Bit Nuggets a follow. Let me give him a shout-out in the chat, because I can do that. Oh, wait. Ah, no! I pressed the wrong button. I destroyed everything! A shout-out just for me! Can you pet the cat? 8-Bit. Uh, you, 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 you can try. She's very, very... Vicious. Yeah, I did it. All right. Well, thank you again for coming by. Um, and I will be talking to you later on about all the cool stuff. But again, I want to thank you for showing me what you like. Because, yo, you like that. And I like that, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, everyone. Thank you very much. We will be right back after a short, like, three-minute break while I prepare the next guest. All right. Well, goodbye, chat. Goodbye.